Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2019 paper. Today we will see how you can solve the questions which was asked in that related to the vector calculus. Four questions are asked. So the first question is related to the partial differential equation and you have to classify over this parabolic elliptical are there. Next one is related to check whether it's a sonidal or the irrotational. Third one is related to the degree of polynomials and you have to find this over this curve. And the last one is related to this line integral and you can see that all the question are of the one marks one plus one plus one plus one so you will get four marks in a very simple manner so how you can solve such kind of the question let's see the tricks behind that the first question is related to a partial differential equation and you have to so, so this question is the classification of the partial differential equation whenever there is a classification of the partial differential equation you always try to compare your given differential partial differential equation with respect to this and then you have to find this determinant b square minus 4ac if it is 0 then we will call as the parabolic if it is a less than 0 we will call as the elliptical if it is a greater than 0 we will call as the hyperbolic that's the concept behind that so let's see what is that if this is case is my a this is my b this is my c so if you find the value of the b square minus 4 a c what will happen this is 4 minus 4 of x square plus y square minus 1 whole square now how you can check that there is no need to simplify that you have to look about the answers so the first option is x square plus y square is greater than 2 so already x square plus y square is present so you can choose any value which satisfied here i can take x square plus y square as a 3 substitute this what will happen 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 2 2 square is 4 16 is a negative can it be the parabolic for the parabolic we need this must be the 0 but it is a not 0 over this domain it means this option is cancel out look about this one is hyperbolic take another value say again I consider as a x square plus y square as a 3 substitute here 3 minus 1 is 2 2 square is 4 4 and 4 16 so this value is my less than 0 is it hyperbolic for the less than 0? No. For the less than 0, it's a elliptical. It means this is also cancel out. Take any value in between the 0 and 2. So I consider as x square plus y square as a 1. You can take any one of them. If you substitute here, its value is my 0. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So its value is my 4, which is a greater than 0. So greater than 0 for the hyperbolic, not for the elliptical. This option is also cancel out. So the only option is my here. You can also verify that if you take any value between them, say 1, so the answer is my plus of 4, which is greater than 0. So greater than 0, it means it's a hyperbolic R. So always try to compare with the help of this one. Look at the second one is there. So this is related to some sonidal, irrotational and so on. So let me firstly introduce what is the, how you can check that a vector field F is my sonidal. How you can check and how you can check for the irrotational V. So that's a very simple, what you can do is you have to check whether the divergence of f is 0, then it's a sonidal. If you find that curl of f is 0, then it's here. What is the divergence of f is del dot f, curl of f is nothing but b, here. That is our target state. Now we have to check for this function. So let me check firstly for the divergence of this. What is that? This is a vector. So this is nothing but my del square of f and this value del square f is given to be 0 as it satisfies the Laplace here. So what is the meaning of that? It means this is a solenoidal. So which options are discarded? It means this option is cancelled out and this option is cancelled out. B and D option are cancelled out. Now for the irrotational you have to check for here. What is that? This is a 0. This is the curl of the gradient of that so that's the that is related to the vector identity this is a vector identity of the standard notation so what is the meaning of that it means this is e rotational also so which one is there both are there is the right answer of this problem look at this example are there so it is a polynomial of degree th 2 so we already discussed how we can solve this kind of the problem since it is a polynomial of degree 2 so you have to take an as a basis of this so now we will see one by one case are there so if you take f of x is 1 if you substitute the value here what is that f dash is my 0 what is that this is nothing but my a 
plus this is b plus sorry a plus of 2 plus b so what is that a plus b is my minus of 2 can you find the unique value of the a and b no it means this option will cancel out because we need a unique answer b look at the second case when f of x is my x what is that what is the derivative is by 1 what is the a of x is my ax plus 2 times of the x plus 1 plus b times of the x plus 2 now what you can do you can equate the coefficients of the x and the constant on the both side constant is my 1 x is my 0 on the left hand side if you take the x it will be a plus 2 plus b on the constant on the right hand side one left one is a 2 it's my 2 of b so from here you can find the value of b as minus 1 by 2 easily and from here if you substitute the value here you will get a as of minus 3 by 2 you can see that a 2 plus here so what is that you can substitute the value here this is my minus 12 by 2 minus of 3 by 2 that's answer is minus of 15 by 2 that's answer is minus 7.5 is the right answer look at the last example are there so which is related to this uh, line integral so remember that whenever there is a form of the line integral you always use the green's theorem so that will help you to solve them in a very quick manner what is the green theorem is if you have the m dx plus n dy form then you have to convert into the surf double integration by using this rule partial derivative of m with respect to y over the dx dy now what you can do is you can compare this one so this is my m n dy so this is my n so i can convert them over this partial derivative of n with respect to the x so it will be my 4 y square minus partial derivative with respect to y is minus of 4 here so this is dx dy what is that 4 is constant so this is x square plus y square over the dx dy now how you can solve that this is a radius of this over the circle origin as center so you can convert them into the polar coordinates for the easy calculation so what is that this is my r square what is the dr dr dx dy is dr into d theta over the curve is 0 to radius is my 2 and angle is my 0 to 2 pi b so what is that this is here this is the r cube r cube integration is r 4 by 4 over the term 0 to here so what is that 4 will be cancel out so it's a 2 pi 4 to the 16 so the answer is 32 pi so you can and l by pi is my 32 is the right answer of this problem always remember that whenever there is a line in triangle are there you try to convert them into the green theorem so this is the way you can try solve these questions in a very simple manner we will see some more questions on the linear algebra of this gate 2020 exams question number 19 49 and 50 in a very simple manner till then share this video with your friends subscribe the channel best of luck students